evening from London. As part of a four-stage emergency gas plan, it's been reported that the UK will cut off gas supplies to Europe. The measures could be rolled out if the Russian energy crisis deepens. The first stage would involve the shutting down of interconnector pipelines to the Netherlands and Belgium, a move that European gas companies have warned would undermine a push for international cooperation in the face of Putin's aggression. After Russia slashed gas supplies to Europe, there are fears that there could be a shortage this winter. AC Milan and Puma have announced the long-term extension of their sponsorship contract first signed in 2018. The German sports goods firm is said to have more than doubled the value of its deal to kit out the Italian soccer champions. No financial details were given in the statement, but a source familiar with the matter said that Puma will pay roughly 30 million euros per year under a new five-year contract. Education ministers representing over 80 partner countries of the Global Partnership for Education have convened in Paris this week for a summit that seeks to address what organisers describe as an unprecedented teaching crisis that has the potential to threaten the future of children around the world. Education is at risk because of conflict, COVID-19 and economic pressures. And it's estimated that 24 million learners may never see the inside of a classroom again. Nesmi Manigat, Haiti's Minister for Education, joined me earlier from Paris for more on this story. We are living in a different world right now. Different context. After COVID-19, we are on the bridge of an uh, economic catastrophe. It's important for us to take bold action, not to reform, but to transform education. Two years ago, October 2020, minister coming from country partners of GPE, we took a resolution saying at that time, we have to transform education after COVID-19. We saw so many reports highlighting the catastrophe. More than 200,000 children are at risk of dropping out schools. We need more clear, concrete action in order to have all the children, all the young people in the right track for the future. Haiti is part of the global community as Nigeria. And in Haiti, there's a lot of suffering because we have a very young population. 70% of the population is under 30. Very young population. Half of the population is under 18 years. We need more schools, we need more trained teachers, and we have to give opportunity and hope to the young people. So that's the reason why all my colleague ministers like Haiti, in this communique, we said we are collectively committed to do whatever it takes to transform education. Because when we can transform education, we can transform the world for a better place. It's a fair place. Those are your main stories from London at close of business.